tough for ball to get noticed sometimes, especially when you've got scholarship players in front of you? Yeah, there's, you got to understand the situation. I mean, he's been here going on his third year. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, <coughs> and again, he's put in a lot of time. And in that process, you know, he's worked really, really hard to earn where he's at. And he understands the offense. He understands all three positions, four positions. We can put him anywhere. So that's, that's value. Plus, he makes plays. That's what makes him good. That's what makes him valuable. Looking at that touchdown to CP in the first quarter, you know, you were his lead recruiter on him. You've known him for so long. <coughs> Just what that mean to you personally to see a guy that you invested that much time in to not only be here but to produce his first game? Well, a lot of people put a lot of time into him. And, and he's worked really hard, and it's good to see hard work pay off. And he went and executed the play. There's some things we got to clean up, you know, as a, as a wide receiver group. But I was really pleased to watch CP catch that pass. It was exciting. Zach Rogers, you know, it looked like he had a big hug waiting for him after he caught his touchdown pass, too. Yeah, he's worked really hard, too. You know, he's a guy that, that has performed well all camp. He went out there, and again, hard work and opportunity equals big plays, and that's what happened on, on Friday night. Were you surprised in any way at how successful you guys were against a future NFL back like Emerson was? Well, we, again, we talk about what we do. We don't talk about them. We talk about what we do. And that's what we do every single day. I call it putting a hard hat on like you're going to work. Put the hard hat on, go work your butt off, polish on Thursday, and then get ready to go play the game. And that's what we did. We went and executed. Now, did we mess up in the game? Yes. There's some routes you guys didn't see that if we run a little bit better route or the correct route, we're going to be even more yards, more, more catches, more big plays. And we got to clean that up. Our blocking wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Our standard is very high, and we need to continue to pick that up. We got to block that. What, um, what's the line with CP on how much you push now moving forward without overloading? Is it a week by week, he, you know, schematic deal, or are you still teaching concepts? Are you still pushing? No. How, how do you e balance that? Each week, we we carry a lot of our base offense, but we do make changes every week. And he's got to learn at his position what he's doing. We're going to move him around in some different positions. He's got to learn to play specific what to do for this week. Because you think about it, we have a, a, a pool of plays that we choose from. Then we pick this play, this play, this play, this play, this play for this week. And then these are the ones we focus on. Then the next week, we go back and we start from, a, from a, our pool and we pick out different plays. Some might be the same, some might be different. So every week, we've got to relearn basically the whole offense and make sure, and then we tighten it down as we go through the week. This is what we're running, this is what we're doing. How deep is his pool of plays that you can run with him right now? Oh, he can run the whole offense. He can run the whole offense. He understands it. Now, there's times where I got to remind him. There's times where I've got, you know, during practice, I got to go, okay, now this is what, you, you know, this is what, and, that, and the other thing is, is we're going to see different coverages our defense hasn't played. So there's some learning curve that goes along every single week, and the, the idea is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're, we're learning that curve, and Thursday we polish it to get ready for Saturday. They, he didn't have a catch in the second half. Was that them? taken away and there was you weren't ready to adjust a whole lot in the second half with CP schematically? Well, there was some couple times where he should have got the ball and he didn't run the, 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 the most perfect route or the right situation. And they did roll the coverage sometimes to his side. It was just luck. And it, Justin ended up catching a lot of balls in the second half. That's going to happen. And I tell them every game, guys, you don't know when it's going to happen. It could be in the first quarter. It could be in the third quarter. It could be in the fourth quarter. You may only catch two balls, and all of a sudden in the fourth quarter you have nine. You just never know when it's going to be your time, and you got to be ready for that. For all the talk about him and Justin, hit ten different players pitch the football Friday night. Is that, is that the dream scenario, that you have an offense that you're that multiple with that many guys? Well, I give a lot of credit to Tyler Bray. Understanding and defenses adjust as you go through the game. We hit a bunch of long balls. They started to play their coverage a little bit deeper, and then he started to hit some underneath stuff in the second half and getting his completions. And again, we had some drops and, and that we can't drop the football. We make those catches. We keep the defense off the field on third down. The long ball where Justin Hunter dropped. Some of those plays we got to continue to make. We got to continue to fine tune and get ready for this week to make those plays. What was it like to see Justin go out and have the game he had his first game back? Well, I think there was a little bit of rush there, you know, you know, and and again we we hold Justin to a high standard. 
And, you know, just in the first half, the balls weren't coming his way. And I said, hey, just stay the course, man. They're going to come. It's going to happen. And sure enough, it did. And then he made his plays. And again, at the end of the game, there had two drops that we want we, that he knows that he can make those plays. And we got to be able to make those plays with Justin Hunter. Considering that you worked the last couple of years with Tyler, what was it like to see him go out and have that kind of debut for this season? It was great. It was great to see him work all summer, work all camp go out there and he did a lot of good things and some of the balls he didn't complete were really impressive to watch him throw the ball away to throw the ball on the ground in some situations where he didn't make the, the dumb throw and I was really proud through the ball of the back of the end zone really proud of how he he ran the offense he had a real good demeanor about him understood a lot of things and really got us in the right plays when we needed him to. Pick tweeted earlier this week that he's th thanking the Lord to be back is he able to get out there and compete now? He's he's getting out there slowly competing. You know, it's a, it's a situation where you got to get into play speed, shape, all those kind of things, and we're going to slowly continue to. to, to